everything you're doing. If you have an Adobe subscription, go sign up for this right now. Frame.io just announced that it's now available for Creative Cloud customers as well as individual Premiere Pro and After Effects subscribers. This includes support for two users, five projects, free sharing with unlimited number of reviewers, 100 gigabytes of dedicated Frame.io storage, and camera to cloud. And this is all included without any additional costs to Adobe subscribers. And it's something you should absolutely get if you're running your own video production company or just freelancing, as it's a massive time saver when it comes to working with clients. To get started, you just log into your Adobe account on the Frame.io website, and we've included the link below in the description. Now, some of you might be wondering what the software is and why you should use it for client work. So I'm going to quickly run through all of the awesome features that Frame.io provides as I use it for all of my client work. Frame.io is a cloud-based collaboration platform that allows you to work within Teams or is used as a great way to work with clients when reviewing projects and videos. So let's take a look at how that works in the upload process, reviewing with clients, and how it even has an Adobe integration. It's sweet. I'm just gonna show you quickly how Frame.io works on a basic level. So over here to the left, you can see I've kind of blurred it out because some of it's my client work, but um, you can have different projects set, uh, different folders you can kind of go in between um, and set for your different clients. You can add them to the project. So when you upload files, they actually get emails and you can set whether or not you want them to get emails or not. There's all these different options. You can set different statuses, move to, you can make it private, you can download as original or in proxy files. You can publish to Vimeo or to Dropbox like directly from here. And in sharing, you can do it as review or presentation. As a presentation, you go to a higher level. You can actually set it up to match your actual branding. Um, share for review is great because um, it allows you to, gives you a uh, link access. You can send people emails. You can allow comments, approvals, you can password protect it, set a, a, an expiration date for the link, and you can decide if they you want to let them download anything for you. And you can actually, uh, depending on your upgrade, you can um, apply a watermark to it so people don't you know steal your stuff before they pay. So it's great. The cool thing with this is, you know, that's great to have for clients and stuff is when you get into the actual video itself. And I'm going to just preview this one. Has so as you can see, execute. you have like a video that I made a little while ago. So here, so like, oh, don't like how this looks. Cool. So you notice right here, it shows you who made the comment, all that. It even timestamps it for you. So if you come over here, make a similar setting and send that it actually pulls you to the exact position in the video that um, your edit has been made. People can also get really creative in this and actually make um, little notations like, oh, you know, like take that out, you know, and then make a little comment. And when you come back to here, you can actually see the drawing and stuff like that. So it's great for client review process. You can go directly to see what exactly you want to be edited because um, it's always an annoying process. The other cool thing about that is that you can actually directly open it up in um, Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects. This is the one I had just made comments in. You can actually link it to your timeline. There you go. You see? It'll jump you to your comments on the timeline, and you can even have it little, leave little notations above it. So you can edit it directly in here. You can pull up the comments. It'll bring you exactly where they made notes so you can fix it, and you can do it right within Adobe Premiere. It's awesome. And there's also plugins for DaVinci Resolve and other ones that you can use this same functionality within. The other thing, cool thing, too, is you can actually upload the active sequence directly from it, from different presets, um, and even just do proxy files, and you can render it, and it puts it directly into the folder you want from Frame.io and your timeline. It's a quick, fast way to make quick little edits and different things without having to spend all the time to go back and forth on stuff. Their camera cloud feature also allows you to use C2C certified device capture high quality, low bandwidth H.264 proxies and uncompressed audio files with matching time code and file names straight from your camera. Files are uploaded to Frame.io and automatically distributed to editors as soon as you stop recording with your camera. It's a great way to have editors immediately work on projects the minute you're done filming or a great way to see the shots in direct from the other side of the world if you are in a quick need to do extremely fast kind of production basis. All in all, this is an amazing software that is now free with Creative Cloud subscriptions. It's worth it and I use it with all my clients and it frees you up from those long chain emails where they just give you a list of edits that you have to hunt down and figure out what are they talking about. So get signed up today and this is a great alternative to using Vimeo for the review video process and that's because Vimeo is actually pushing original users out and charging some nearly $3,500 to host their videos. So see why that's happening in this video right here.